I've been flying with Delta forever. That's like who I exclusively fly with. Camille Henderson said that's all changed after her most recent trip with Delta Airlines. She and her boyfriend were heading to Atlanta, a major Delta hub to visit family. My mom lives there and I went to go visit her and her sisters who has some kids. On Camille's return flight on February 3rd, a game of musical chairs in the air. She was seated in row 15 in the window seat at takeoff, but by the end of the flight, she was sitting in row 34. She said the two women seated next to her in the middle and aisle seats were upset about their seat assignment. They felt like they um, were ticketed first class seats, but they couldn't provide the ticket. After the complaints went on for more than an hour into the flight, Camille started recording part of that exchange. Camille says that was a Delta flight attendant speaking with those two passengers next to her. Eventually, the flight attendant proposed a solution to get the women more space, but Camille would have to move. Are you by yourself? Yeah. You seat back there at 34, but that will give you all more space. I don't want to make it a race thing, but instead of asking the two white women that were seated next to me in an attempt to accommodate them, you know, they basically made me have to move. And I just don't know why I had to move because you know, that was the seat that I paid for. So Camille moved to her new seat at the back of the plane in row 34. She said she was embarrassed by the experience. As I'm walking back there, it's just humiliating. You know, it's like having the entire, you know, uh, flight look at you and you know everybody's kind of asking what's going on after getting back to the Bay Area Camille spent the next several days trying to contact Delta Airlines submitted a um, complaint online after hours in hours on hold yeah, she finally got a customer next. service supervisor on the phone who told her so how are you humiliated for them to ask you to just go to another seat you're basically saying that there's nothing that you can do no none of these circumstances what I'm showing them no not satisfied with the response, Camille reached out to ABC 7 News after we stepped in. Delta provided the following statement. We are looking into this situation to better understand what happened. Delta has no tolerance for discrimination in any form, and these allegations run counter to our deeply held values of respecting and honoring the diversity of our customers. Camille feels these words are hollow after her experience. Me as a black woman, I was displaced because to make two white women comfortable. That doesn't make any sense to me. Do you think that you'll be flying Delta again anytime Never soon? Never again. Never again. Julian Glover, ABC 7 News.